Hello, my name is Barbara Lloyd, and I want to close this process of reflection and planning by sharing some learnings from my research with faithful and lively congregations. In this last session called Integration, you have been discussing insights, ideas, and strategies for opening up and deepening your life as a congregation. I want to congratulate you on the hard work you have done so far. I also want to encourage and embolden you for the work of change and transformation ahead. I take heart that you are embarking on this journey of introspection towards faithfulness and new life. Jesus lived his life trying to build loving and just community. He reached out to people who were considered at the bottom of the social hierarchy. His efforts to heal, to love, and to liberate eventually led to his confrontation with the powers of the Roman Empire and to his crucifixion. In the Christian church, we take the life and ministry of Jesus as our model or paradigm for being church. And so in every age, we ask ourselves how our life together as church reflects Christ's presence in our time. To truly follow Jesus is neither comfortable nor safe. So we must guard against our own tendency to domesticate the gospel, to make it easy. We inevitably develop blind spots, become complacent, and sometimes get into real trouble as church when we lose our way, as we have done periodically over the years. As you know, in my research, I found that the overarching theme in the life of the faithful and lively congregations that I studied was openness, specifically as it related to radical welcoming, risk-taking, loving, empowering leadership, and justice-making. Because I also used a post-colonial and feminist lens in my examination of the church in the 21st century, I brought a critical perspective to the study. What it means to be faithful and lively today is influenced by living in what scholars call a post-Christendom time of empire, where the church does not exert the influence it once did in society but is very much alive with new ideas in theology and practice. Changes in our context continue to challenge congregations to understand the world and the gospel and to reinterpret their ways of being church. In the spirit of self-critique then, I offer several growing edges that I discovered as I studied and ruminated over my research. They concern the need for both greater confidence and greater humility. Because openness was the overarching theme of the findings, I felt that openness was also a key to working on these growing edges. I have named four areas for special attention. Being open to rethinking our theologies. Being open to articulating our faith for our time being open to processes of self-examination, and being open to risking more boldly for justice. There will always be a need to examine our own practices, beliefs, and vision as a church. And in that process, we come ever closer to God and to living out God's mission in our world. I hope that this resource has been helpful to you. In the appendix, I've added a few more paragraphs on each of the four growing edges that I hope you will read, think about, and continue to discuss. I wish you and your congregation many blessings as you work for the vital and renewed ministry and mission of the church in our world.